Good morning, fellow pipe smokers. Hope you're doing well. Today I would like to have a little chat about mortar pipes. Bog oak, that is. You'll see me smoking a pipe made by Austrian pipe maker Josef Brammer with the trademark P on the stem, a silver band with floral ornaments, a rather large bowl with a medium sized drilling, 9mm filter pipe. I was asked by several pipe smokers about mortar pipes, but to be honest, I'm not that expert. I can only tell you the information that I have gathered through the internet. This is my only pipe made of this material. And especially this pipe. Usually Mr. Prama pipes are a little bit above my price range, but they are widely available around tobacconists here. And in the showroom of one tobacconist, I did found this pipe with a 50% off. And this was the chance I was waiting for, so being patient often pays off. So I got this pipe 50% off, but without a box or bag. And the friend that it was with me, uh, unknown to me, he contacted the pipe maker and asked to get a box in the bag. And he really did send it along with a certificate concerning the mortar material and this pipe. And I think this was a nice gesture, both by Mr. Prama and my friend. And several months later, when I met Mr. Prama in person, I did tell him this story. And he couldn't believe that a tobacconist was selling one of his pipes 50% off because these are commissioned pipes. And maybe at the tobacconist something went wrong a little. And the first thing that Mr. Brahma asked was if I'm happy with this pipe, if everything works out. And I told him that the pipe gets surprisingly hot because as you see it's a rather massive pipe. And he said yes, this is perfectly normal with mortar. And that you should carefully break in such a pipe, that it gets a nice carbon covering and then it should smoke as a normal briar pipe. And usually I don't care at all about breaking in a pipe, I just fill it and smoke it. But so I recommend that you should be a little more careful with mortar pipes. Many pipe makers have tried their hands on mortar, but very very few stick to it because mortar is a very difficult material to work with. It's very brittle, it's falling apart. And the other thing is, you never know how the inside structure, the density of the pipe is. And I heard of several mortar pipes that cracked with the first or the first few smokes. So if you are a pipe maker or intend to be a pipe maker and want to work on mortar, be careful with it. And be prepared for some reclamations. Mr. Prama is working with mortar since the 90s and I asked him and he believes there was only one French pipe maker and maybe one Croatian pipe maker that worked on mortar back in the day. But you see he has lots of experience with this material. And I guess it's on Pipedia. You will see that mortar pipes are around for a very, very long time. And I think it was Peterson that had some, some of these pipes already around the 1900s. And just recently, a few years ago, Red Trace had a line of mortar pipes, but they took it out of their catalog because they had so much problems, so many problems with the material. And Mr. Brummer worked hand in hand with several universities, the Institute for Radiology, for example, uh, for nuclear science, and with uh, University for Ground and Soil, I don't know if I get the translation right, 
Yeah, doing a lot of research with wood, he estimated the age of his mortar supply to be around 4,000 years. So that's quite an age. And he experimented a lot with the material. So he did find out that there is a right density the material should have. He only uses the pitch black mortar because this one has the right density. It has, it is double as absorbent as prior, so a mortar pipe should never gurgle. The brown and lighter colored mortar is even more absorbent, but it is much less heat resistant. So he says you should avoid the brighter mortar pipes. They tend to burn through rather easily. Some pipe makers do color brighter mortar and paint it just black. So there are some fakes around. So if you want to purchase a mortar pipe, buy it from a serious retailer where you can get your cash back just in case the pipe cracks or just buy a cheap no-name pipe. And in a live chat with pipe maker Phil Rivara, he said that it can happen that a mortar pipe can even explode right in your face. I don't know if this is true or how much of a drama this would be. But mortar pipes do tend to crack. So, yeah, I will put a link to Mr. Prama's website down below. There you can read for yourself, you can set to English language and there's an article about Morta and his experiences with it. Also the scientific results of a scan through. This material is uh, full with uh, elements, ion, silicates, whatever. Yeah, another point that I was unaware of is that I was told this material is also called bog oak, but it must not necessarily be oak because any wood that has been conserved in, in swamp, swamp or mud can turn to, well, how to call it, to such a material. So I don't know if it's really oak or any wood, if I meet Mr. Brummer again, I will have to ask him about this. And maybe I can, can tell you. Can tell you more the next time. Enjoy your smokes. See you soon. Cheers.